When last we'd done this, we just set up a material so that we could actually render our model using the UV texture that we had built. Let me show you one last neat trick. We're going to switch back to Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you may recall that I had created this texture. And I'm actually going to go in here and make some kind of arbitrary changes. I think I'm going to, I don't know, put some red stripes on the arms. You're going to see that actually this raises some real issues in terms of lining up our uh, models later on. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, it's just like some, you know, Jetsons, you know, weird rings around the arms kind of uniform things. So I've created all this in the texture layer. And again, if you look at this, you'll see that I've opened up my PSD file, my Photoshop file, which means that I have my layers and I can actually hide my mesh layer. So I've just got my somewhat bizarre looking texture now. And now I'm going to go into File, Save As. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG, a JPEG again, remember. And what I'm going to do now is I'm go just going to replace the existing JPEG. OK. And now, having saved this, I'm going to go back into Blender. And in Blender, let me scroll our window down just a hair here. In Blender, I'm going to switch my view back over to the UV Image Editor. And in here, under the Image menu, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose Reload. Alt-R, if you can remember that. By the time you start adding Alt keys to these sh shortcuts, I start to forget them. But I'm going to reload the image. And you see that it brings in the image that I just created with the red stripes. And that's handy. That's nice. And it means that when I go back to the 3D view, we'll actually see that new texture on there. What this means is that even after I have animated my model, even after I have done everything to the model, I can still go back in in Photoshop and edit my texture and simply reload it back into Blender and all my changes will be applied exactly where they should go. Remember I said as I was drawing this, this is going to do some slightly undesirable things to my model. Let me give this a quick spin around so you can see what I mean. I wasn't very careful where I put my stripes and I just got lucky that they line up at all. You can see that there are some disconnects here on the arms where I didn't quite guess right. Somehow I got amazingly lucky on that first stripe. Down at the bottom I got pretty close, but you can't always bank on this. And actually we should have been much more methodical in Photoshop rather than getting this lucky. As it is, however, we have just created a UV texture, edited it in Photoshop, imported it into Blender, applied it to our model, edited it again in Photoshop, re-imported it in, in, into Blender, and we are well on our way to having a much more complex model.